Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plates Blasphemous. And uh, well, I'm gonna waste absolutely no time. I want to get that arena done. I want it, and I should be able to get it. It's me just playing sloppy. So without really any introduction whatsoever, that's exactly how we're kicking it off today. I'm 25 seconds in, and I'm already about to enter the arena, where hopefully. We can see some first tries down in the comments below. Let's see, all right, grab my Guilty Shard. Let's head on in. We know the first few waves are easy. It's just once you get to those those people with the urns that it gets a little, little messy. All right, um, okay, I was gonna say I already forget what the first few rounds are. Good, easy enough. Oh, okay. There we are. And remember, head up to the center platform. Uh, is it Wraith or is this the one who throw the pots? Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, oh, nope, I was gonna say. Maybe I can completely just ignore them, but not so much, there we go. Little righteous repose. Oh, right, I guess if you wanna do that, you sure can. And a little prayer action. Oh, actually that platform just saved me, so now, Shouldn't be too bad. And just walk. Actually, walking is better than, than trying to dodge. Whoa! And except in that case, there we have it. And a little weight of sin. Excellent. All right. So far, so good. Now it should be the laser wraith. Oh, just regular regular dash wraiths. And we're just going to go back and forth. Not letting them actually dash. They're going off screen, though. Okay, going off script, off screen. There we have it. Okay, way to sin. Oh, one shot, excellent. Big jump, way to sin. Oh, absolutely beautiful. It's almost like I'm trying to learn how to play the game. Now it's Laser Wraith, right? Oh, it's not Laser Wraith yet. Kill you. And dash, dash, <laughs> dash one last time. There we go. And back up. Okay, now right here, Laser Wraith, right? Okay, <laughs> oh, Laser Wraith is the, uh, it's on the same, same one. So what I could do is drop down here and do a prayer, quickly, and again. How about actually just switch over here and then pray? <laughs> Perfect. At least, you know, on one of them. And then Weight of Sin. Oh, please be the last round. That was so easy. Hey! <laughs> Detestatio Sacrorum. Sacrorum, excuse me. Yeah, that was easy. Heart of the Single Tone. Is that what became of the bud? No, because now it's grown spout. Okay, so I got two things, so... Oh, this is a new mea culpa. Sword core, which resounds with an inscrutable ringing, can be inserted into mea culpa. Makes its edge vibrate, causing its attacks to destroy certain immaterial projectiles, but reducing the elemental resistance of its wielder. So, is that projectiles like the fireballs that the wraiths would cast? Maybe? Reduces elemental resistance. I don't love that. Maybe I'm just not even understanding these, but let me know in the comments if that is the case. I want to look at my quest items. So that's now a grown sprout. Great. Probably need to find more of those. Uh, but hey, we set out to accomplish a thing. We did that thing in only four minutes. What do I want to do now? I think I want to head down. I think I want to head down back into maybe the Mountains of the Endless Dusk or there's Hondo, of course. And there's probably still more in the Desecrated Cistern that I'm missing. Yeah. All right, tell you what. Let's head this way. Let's get into the mountains, and we'll just go this way, because we had already gotten this little lift. So all we need to do is head down. Pardon me while I sip some coffee. And then... Let's see... I gotta remember where the statue is. Oh, easy. Just down all the way here. 
So I wonder when I level up my actual mea culpa. Or maybe it'll just be obvious. We will see. Okay. Oh, actually, do we want to take this? No, we definitely don't. It's a lot shorter to just go here. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, except there's no path here, right? Well, it's still, it's still closer than going to the other travel gate. Never mind. Disregard. A little bit of running. Hopefully not too much. Uh, I do have another 2,000 uh, Tears of Atonement that I could donate to the church. suppose we might as well, right? Here we go. Oh. Oh. Is this... Is this from tithing? Token of appreciation. It's a rosary, just an ordinary marble presented as thanks for the charity received. Okay. Oh, does that mean there's no more? Should I stop? Somehow the scratched glass resonates with the empty bile flasks, increasing your strength. When their liquid is run out? So as I use my bile flask, my biliary flasks, I will get stronger? That is really kind of cool. So I'm actually going to take that off. I'll put that... Well... No, let's put on the accelerated prayer. And then we'll put that on after I've used at least one one flask. So I can still tithe. I'm going to tithe. I'm going to tithe all of it. And that's perhaps a waste. But, you know, I guess maybe we could leave and come back and see if there's something else. Because that would put me over 7,000. Maybe there'll be one at 10,000. I'm not sure, but we'll check just to see. Any shinies on the ground? There's not. Okay. Let's let's get into it. So as soon as we start going down on flasks, we'll put on the new the new rosary bead and and see if we're killing things in less less hits. Okay, skip. We're going all the way over here. I was told by the way that those trees are supposed to actually stay down. And for some reason, they didn't for me. So it was suggested I go back and I knock those down. And Well, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I will at some point. All right, let's get a little practice. There we have it. Good, good. Building up that fervor nicely. And how about a little dashing strike? No? Okay. Thought maybe I would stun you. I am rather stunning, if you will, even if you won't. I'm going to say it anyway. Okay, drop, drop. Nope, can't. Sometimes when you're too close to the wall, you can't drop. It's kind of interesting. Now, I think from here... Yeah, I want to go down, down, and then just all the way left. Now, over to the... Oh. Hmm, is that the one... I think that's the the treasure that's in the water that I couldn't reach. Yeah, it is. So I'm not gonna not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna fall all the way. Oh no, this is actually where I wanted to go. So we'll just hop over some merkmen. There we go. Nice and quick, like. Oh, geez. There we go. Speed running this game in no time. And still going all the way. Yeah. Don't kill the rats. This isn't Plague Tale Requiem. Or Plague Tale Sacrifice, the first one. I haven't actually played either of those games. They seem really interesting, though. Actually, seem really good. I've heard nothing but positive things about it. Okay, Mountains of the Endless Dusk. Here we have it. That was well executed. Unintentionally well executed. No! Perfect. Oh, oh, okay. Little acme action where I don't fall until I look down. Fair. Okay, good. pre -jure. Yeah, I don't really want to try the new mea culpa hearts. I don't like them. And can I... I don't think so. Let's just... Okay, prayer action. Okay, get 
hard to jump over. And jump over again. Okay, you're den. And... Oh, you're still not... Oh, there we go. Let's heal up, though. So there's one flask gone. I don't know if a single one is worth it. Or if it becomes really viable once you've gotten a few. Okay, now jump. And let's stay nice and tall. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. Oh. Okay. Righteous repost. Yeah, that dash strike. You all told me not to sleep on it. I'm trying not to. I'm not even going to worry about it because I have full fervor. Doesn't really matter if I get any more at this point. Three hits. Beautiful. And I think that puts me... Okay, do I have anything to offer yet? No. Nothing yet. Is that tree on my map? It's not. Should I mark it? Probably should, right? Sure. And that looks makes it look like there's a boss here when there's not, but... Well, is what it is. And let's just go for a ride. Let's see what else the mountain has in store for me. Okay, I've already done that. I, I still think that is just such a cool mechanic for hidden platforms. Love it. And up we go. And this is almost as far as I've gone. I just want to see some actual progression. I, I know I'm still missing things. I am I am brutally aware. What am I doing? Quick, 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 quick. Uh oh. Oh, man. Up. Oh. oh, come on. That was slick, huh? Dodging under his projectile. And for you, I am just going to do one of those. Now, how do I. Can't break that, huh? Oh, do I have to. Do I have to bounce over one of you? Oh, no, there's an invisible platform. Okay. Oh, whoops. Uh. Good. Let's heal. Do these break? Sure, seems like it should break, right? Oh, I can just drop. Oh, it's to allow you to hide under from those. Okay, clever. Dried clove. Okay, so dried clove. Probably give that to the herbalist as well. The healer, right? Rare and fragrant spice. Anything that smells good, I would imagine they need. Coming from distant lands, trading caravans stopped traversing these uh, strong roads, stony roads, long ago, making this item a rare discovery. In the past, it was highly prized for its strength in poultices and bombs. Exactly what he's looking for. It was not just hearsay anymore. The illness had reached Albero without warning. The outbreak and punishment of the miracle, so often discussed, came through a young man who arrived to our small congregation full of fear wondering what his unforgivable sin had been to receive such a condemnation. So, actually a lot to unpack here, but the one I want to focus on is the idea of an unforgivable sin. According to at least my studies of uh, Holy Scripture, I'm only aware of one unforgivable sin, and that is blasphemy against the the Holy Spirit, the, the, the Spirit of God. Uh, so it's curious to, to hear this text say which or what his unfor unforgivable sin was. Uh, but really what this is sounding like is that the miracle is the one actually causing the disease, which is a really interesting take on the whole idea of religion. And it looks like you are just stuck, which is perfect. You know, I know that there are many that do have their negative views on religion, justified or not. But to hear it actually called a plague, essentially, is uh, rather interesting. Okay, new pre-cure. Wonderful. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. 
let's actually go up just because I'm curious if this connects with any of the other areas up here. Also, that... Whoops. That shrine kind of, you know, well, looks like the tones of... Uh, Tears of Atonement, but also the Confessor statues. Maybe there's a Confessor statue nearby. That'd be pretty fun. I'd like to do another another arena. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's that guy. Wait. Oh, there is another one. Oh, there's another. One. I was I was right. And it looks like probably he wants me to unblock this, which I can't right now. Bitter moments reunite us again, Benetton One. An unsurmountable war seemeth to interpose itself between our feet and our holy destinations. Will there ever be a blessing that save us from this sorrow? Okay, so I'm guessing I have to open that up. Um, and because this is another Brotherhood door, I probably need a key for it. Just kidding. I have the key. And where? Map not available. Okay, so a completely new area. Lots of spikes up there, bloody spikes. I'm not dropping down, oh, I might not have a choice. This is gonna be a big maze-like area, isn't it? Oh, okay. I can now potentially see why having a lower stun after falling is gonna be important. This is going to be this game's version of the Path of Pain, isn't it? From Hollow Knight, by the way. Okay, am I safe here? Just, just... Okay, so if I actually just let... Well, that didn't seem to work. Good grab. I was pushing down on the analog, and it was actually allowing me to drop instead of jump, which is nice. Okay, big jump, and then immediately jump back up. Ooh. Oh, that's, oh no, there's a there's a wall right above me that I can grab. Oh, rats, I didn't realize my toe had touched it. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. I like stuff like this. This actually makes me makes me happy to see. When a game does platforming well, it's a lot of fun. And so far, this is not this is not bad in terms of platforming. I'm really enjoying it so far. You know, it's a Metroidvania at its core, so more skills would be nice. But I'm still only about a third of the way into the game. I think when I started, I was just over, I was like 30, 30.05% 30 or so. All right, drop, drop. Go. A little bit faster now, since I know the layout a bit. Excellent. Moving nice and quick like. Okay, so from here. Good. Get nice and low so I can jump high. And jump. Oh, that was close. Not bad. Hey, all right. Whatever it is, we got it. And it is Metatarsis of Recusio, the Traveler. Almost no details of his background are known, but those who cross his path claim later that Recusio carried a small, strange, luminous plate that it emitted ugh, a foul, ugh, strange voice. I'll get it eventually. Oh! There is more, however. And this is going to connect up above, isn't it? And I'm on the other side of that wall now, too. Oh, this is where... This is where I started. I mean, this is like where the corpses are. I did leave. Oh, I left a marker there and that, I bet there's a blood platform. Ah, yes. All right, excellent. Good thing I occasionally do the right thing. <laughs> it's not often. Oop. Okay. 
interesting that you... Oh, okay. So if that's not... Ugh. If the platform isn't there, you can't just jump to it. Can you... Are they timed? That one didn't go away. All right, up higher. I'm just wondering if maybe an illusory wall. No? Oh, don't do that. Come on, game. It doesn't seem to be proximity, which is strange. Oh, blast. <laughs> Can I grab the ladder? No? So maybe they're just really precise jumps? Or do you have to hit them in order? I think you have to hit them in order. Okay, so one. And that might be somewhat timed. Wait, that's not gonna work. No, we gotta do this quick, 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 quick. There we go, there we go. Okay, new pre -gear. More blood platform, oh. I saw the lady, the penitent one of golden brocade, brocade? I don't know that word, I'll be honest. The one with the helmet whose visor shades her eyes as she watches the accursed and slowly setting sun. Uh, I guess I wanna go back. There we go, up. Just keep moving. Oh, wait a minute, that just looped back. Why did it loop back? I'm not sure. Tirana of the Celestial Bat, is that a prayer? It's a new prayer. A prayer that abuses the bounties of the miracle to sanctify the very air around whoever intones it. It generates a barrier of divine lightning that damage any enemies trying to cross it. I do not fear punishment for wanting to know what is forbidden, for asking more than I should, for wanting to look beyond the olive groves, I do not fear punishment for everything hails from the divine. That sounds like a really cool, oh, and I can't open that door, huh? Okay, so maybe now you just go low to get back? Hey, I'll take a new prayer. Been a little bit. Found my way back to the pre-jur. <laughs> oh, I like when, when I, figure things out even if they're minor um so that did cause guilt however however yeah see that hmm i'm gonna put a marker here only because there was that door i couldn't interact with at least i didn't see that i can interact with it oh are you gonna all yell at me yeah never mind i'm going back <laughs> i'm beginning to learn from comments that if I ugh, if I miss something and, and and I don't go back and check, or if I miss something and it's just because I wasn't paying attention, I get yelled at in the comments. And I don't mean that literally. You guys are all wonderful about it. But no, there doesn't seem to be anything I can do. I have one idea, and that's a prayer. Maybe a prayer. Oh, it takes a lot of fervor. A lot of fervor. Okay, so never mind. Unfortunately, I mean, I could try this prayer. No. I don't know why. I just thought maybe some holy words might cause the door to open. So something causes that door. Some trigger opens that door. Because I don't even have an open option. Okay. So now I think the next thing we're going to do is go to that new confessor statue. And we're going to destroy it. And see what happens. But probably check some doors along the way down. Oh, did I hit that one? Nope, I gotta check it. <laughs> I have to check it. Look for more illusory walls. It's been a, been a bit since I found one. So this was back this way. Which means I haven't gone this way. Oh no, I did, I did, I did. Duh, that's again, where I came from. See, I stopped myself. Took just a bit. Grab this new, or not new pre jor but let's change our pre jor to this one. There's still nothing I can do with that statue, and I find that hard to believe. Oh! 
Oh, and that's all he had to do to open that. Okay. Oh, actually, I can interact with this statue. Nothing happened. I didn't think anything would. Why would I? You only had a button telling me to interact with it. Game. I'm not worthy of thine infinite compassion. Blessed are those of us who find it. I will pray for thee and thank the master for his holy encounter. Now my feet are marching towards holy prohibitions. How can a simple pilgrim advance through such fortification? O oh, fraternal father, O oh, master of pilgrims, how arduous are your upcoming trials. And off you go. So, yeah, confessor time. And once again, I am going to put on that rosary. I have no idea if I need to. This is me just trying to play the game as the game possibly intends. Um, I will actually take that off and put that on. Break that. And in we go. Let's see what kind of fresh horrors await us here. Oh, no platforms or anything? It's just all, all ground fighting? Okay. Good, 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 good. A lot of dashing, a lot of ducking. Actually, I'm surprised I took no damage there. Oh! Oh! Jabers! I need to... I need to heal. Oh! Okay, heal here. And then just go for you. No, 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 no! Okay, good. Watch it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, actually, that worked out. Except it didn't, because I still took the full full hit from him. That's all right. Let's uh, let's heal, and then oh, can I? Does the game pause? Sounds like the game actually pauses. Uh, I'm gonna take off the toe and put on the token of appreciation. See if that helps. Oh, uh, I need to get on one. Uh, why did I think ducking would work? Uh, hint, it will not. All right, let's just do some. Right to post here. Get some nice full fervor. Oh, and there's Wraith. So it's still taking three hits, so. Whoa, you can actually poise right through some of those, huh? And I might do a miracle right or a prayer right as soon as things start to spawn. Oh my! Okay, I'm going to do another prayer. Okay, good. Get the bishops. Nice, good. So far, I'll probably do start with a prayer right away again as soon as things... Start. Whoa, okay. Okay. Oh, hey, I just blocked those. Good. Double righteous for post. I'll take it. Good. So so far, this has actually been rather rather manageable. Okay, just one of you. Oh, <laughs> that was that was easy enough. Hey, detestatio sacrorum. I feel like I'm trying to conjure a spell in Harry Potter. Tears of Atonement. Excellent. What happened to my little sprout? I'm up to 4,400 tears again. A thorny briar. Okay, still a quest item. Doesn't change its description at all. But I have a thorny briar now. Right. Um. Well, that was pretty cool. That was really cool. But we do have some doors over here, and we're really close to a pre -jure. Let's go explore at least one of these doors ever so quickly while we're here. 
Oh, I wish I hadn't. What is happening here? Do not fear my body, through which so much lightness and darkness pass, nor my visage, which appears disfigured from behind these golden bars. Solidat by name. I was locked up on the orders of His Holiness in this cage, that the miracle then proceeded to decorate. The High Will has granted me the opportunity to help you, while my body remains a blue flame. I will wait, sleeping, until you hand the knots over to me, so that my hands of smoke may tie them, thus expanding the mysteries of your rosary. I was wondering, as she was speaking, why the name Soledad stood out in my mind, and it's because she's the one who created the rosary, the only rosaries that were accepted. Any others were actually, I think, cried out as, as heresy, right? And they were taken away. So, I think I can actually get a new rosary knot. Now let my fingers tie a new mystery. New rosary mystery available. Return once you possess Sorry. new rosary knots to thread. May your heart be free of sin. So is it actually called a rosary mystery on an actual rosary? That I'm not sure. But yes, I do have a new one available. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put on this, and I'm going to put on the toe. Yeah. Excellent. All right. That was a really, really good door to open. Let's try one more. One more, and then we'll wrap up. Hey! All right. A new gate. Beautiful. So now we can travel to Mercy Dreams, Albero, and the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Okay, one more. One more. Why not? That's probably just the way forward. And if it is, we won't go there. We'll just go back to the pre jure right in the previous room. Oh, it's a new mea culpa. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is such a good day. Be level two. Be level. Yes! The virtue of mea culpa hath ascended. So now we can do level two. So there are three available. This one is Fervorous Blood, a sacred technique that allows the bearer of mea culpa to use the cut of its blade to bless his own blood and turn it into a throwing weapon. Press B to use a ranged attack. Now, hold on, hold on. Actually, what does B do right right now? It... Okay, that's right. I consume blood to get fervor. So now I can consume fervor to throw blood if I buy that. Okay, all right. Count me in. That's 2,000. That one's seven. Oh, wow. Okay, so they do get expensive. So this is 2300 Sacred Lunge. It increases the lunge technique and makes even better use of the dodge, making it reach further. And this one is Ascending Edge, an upward slash as combo finisher. Ooh. Okay, so it's attack three times and then up on the left analog stick and attack after a full three. Okay. Uh, definitely want Fervor's Blood. So we will do that. And I have 2300. I'll, I'll grab this just because we can. I have been using that one a lot. And let's see what this looks like. Oh, you're kidding. That's not even that expensive. And now I have a range attack? Oh, come on, son. All right, well... To say that this was a productive episode would absolutely be downplaying it, but that's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Blasphemous. Hopefully you're still enjoying tips and tricks you know what to do. Keep them coming down in the comments below, and I will see you next time.